Good, glorious morning, fellow firewood fanatics. This is Chris, and in the wood yard today, we're gonna deliver wood. I'm on my way to dump this load right now, so here we go. So, we just got done with two days of rain and wind. Um, we had 50 mile an hour winds. We got like an inch of rain over the last couple days, and it was just all around nasty. Uh, today is a sunshiny, glorious John Denver day. There is sunshine on my shoulder. And today, I'm gonna to be doing a bunch of wood deliveries. I've got this one already loaded. I loaded it last night. And then I've got two others for sure, and one that's pending. I just don't know if they want me to bring it today or another day. And then I got a bunch of wood yard cleanup work I'm gonna be doing today and working in the wood yard a little bit. And if I feel sassy, and if I got time, I might even cut just a little bit on my big log pile that I've been itching to cut on. So that's what's gonna happen. So here we go. I'm on my way down the road. I'm back from my delivery. You saw me doing the big dump there, and uh, it has clouded over. Today was supposed to be a beautiful, sunshiny day. Once again, the weatherman doesn't know what he's talking about. There's darkness coming. I just looked at the radar. We're supposed to get rain and snow this afternoon. It's coming. Great. And I plan on having a beautiful day outside today. Not going to happen. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load this wood right here. And uh, I'm going to do a full cord, uh, and this is going 20 miles to the south, so I'm going to get that loaded up right now, and then we're going to go for a little ride. So, loading's happening. Well, I got part of the load on and I ran out of red oak and that's what the guy wanted. I did throw a little bit of locust in here because this is what's left. This is locust here. That's locust there. It's locust back here and over here. This is all locust here, this whole pile here. So I did throw a little bit in, but I only got about a, uh, about a half of a cord or a face cord and a half in there. So I'm going to drive around to the other side because on the other side I got stuff that um, I cut um, back in the spring and it was stuff that was barkless oak and a lot of that was dry already so I'm going to drive over there get my moisture meter out and I do a quick check just to be sure it's good because there's a couple piles in there and I, th I think it's good to go so we're going to go check it out so that's what I'm going to do right now we're going to drive over there and find out if that's what we're going to put on here we go <music> Okay, I just uh, split a couple pieces I pulled out from this big pile right here that were down in the middle. I tried to pick out ones that were in the middle and bigger chunks. So we'll see uh, what, they, what they read. I think they're gonna be in range because they feel dry and uh, should be. So this is the outside. It's 16.23, something like that. This is the inside. It's 21. So that's the thicker piece. And I did split it in half. And then this one is the outside of the little one. That's 19.3. And this one, oh, this is the outside. 
15.3, no, 20.5, 18, 16, 19. So it's good to go. And uh, this guy's burning in an outside fire pit, so it won't be, won't be a problem at all for him. So I'm going to uh, load the rest of this from right here and here. I got, a, I got a pile right here I can take a partial from, and then I'll take some out of this big pile that's not a measured pile, because these are all measured face cord rows and full cord blocks so i don't want to take from those so i'm going to take from uh, this big pile that uh, hasn't really been measured it's just been stacked i'm going to take it from the end because i know these end pieces and the top pieces will be much drier than the stuff from the middle so that's kind of what i'm going to do so i'm going to take the the choice pieces so here we go loading There it is, another load is on. And the enemy, once again, has breached the gates. Snow, don't like it. Anyway, the load is on, and I'm about to go down the road and deliver it. And uh, the wood, as I was throwing it in, throwing it in um, had that nice tinny bowling pin sound. So it sounded really good and dry, and the moisture test was good. So yeah, the pieces I took from the end here that were on this outside edge, they were the corner pieces, the crisscross pieces, stuff like that. All, all seemed really good. So anyway, there it is. It's loaded and uh, road trip time. Here we go. Another beautiful load dumped. On to the next one. I am back in the wood yard. I just got back from my delivery and I am now going to put on another load. It's a full, another full cord to be delivered today. Um, there was something I wanted to address. There was a couple comments on the channel. Um, people made about what I do and uh, the comment was basically that sometimes they don't just like watching me either stack or load wood but I do produce a video every day and some days that's all I do is load wood deliver wood or stack wood or split wood so that's just the way it is so if you're gonna do a video every day like I do I uh, sometimes just do that kind of work because it's work that has to be done. I can't always be going out into the woods and just cutting trees down all the time, which is fun. And it's dramatic because you get to see the tree crash and all that. So occasionally I do that, um, but sometimes it's the tedious day-to-day -day loading, delivering, splitting, stacking. That's what it is. So that's what's gonna happen again right now. So here we go, gonna load it up.
So, you just saw that procedure where I chucked pieces in from down there into the trailer and something I've mentioned before but not much. Um, just thought I'd bring it up because it, it does uh, make a big difference when you're loading. If you're loading into a trailer, even your truck for that matter, don't throw all the pieces way to the, the front of the trailer, the front of the truck. You want to actually have your pile be pretty much right in the middle and then build the back out. Because if you go back and look at the video, you can see when I first started uh, stacking in here, um, you got you to gotta start down in this corner here to build it across. And if you've got this all solid in this area right in here with um, sticks, rounds, chunks, um, you've got to get them out of your way before you can actually start stacking. So I usually throw on about what I consider to be about a face cord and a half or a half a cord, which is about what this is, because each of these rows is almost a half of a face cord. So really this is about a half of a full cord right here. So I'll finish the rest off going that way. So that's why I, I get my center basically as high as I can throw it, you know, throwing armfuls up here and then stack it and then finish the back off. And then when I get to the back, uh, the last like two, three rows, a lot of times I can just grab it and stack it right away without having to throw it in. So the next question that'll come up, because it has come up quite a few times, is people will ask me, how come I stack my wood in the trailer? Well, sometimes I don't. Now, if I'm going to be delivering a face cord or a full cord, I've got See that one down there on the end there? That is a face cord. And then this is a full cord. This is a full cord. That's a full cord. Over there's a full cord, full cord, full cord. But this one here is a non-measured pile. And then over here, each of these stacks, you can see that is a full cord, full cord, full cord, full cord, full cord. That's hard to say fast. Full cord there. There's two here because I took one out of there. Um, but anyway, I have a bunch of those so that if I'm in a hurry on a really busy day, I can just chuck them in. I don't have to stack them in the trailer. But in this particular load and the two before that, um, they were from piles that were non-measured. They were just stacked. So I actually have to stack it in so I deliver the proper amount to the people. So there you go. A few words of wisdom. All it is is work though. So here we go. We're going to finish the load off right now. Another beautiful load of red oak ready to be delivered. It's full cord and uh, I'm going to be leaving in about 20 minutes and go dump it. So this is my third delivery today, I think. All nice ones. First one was a four-face cord, then a three, and this is a three. I just got two more orders, one for tomorrow and one for like three days from now. So anyway, wood is moving. It's going fast. So next time you'll see me, it'll be the big dump. Oh, my God.